Hello, Capricorns. <laughs> Look, all I have to say is, let's get ready to rumble. Look, I'm sorry for fucking playing so much this morning, okay? But, like, I've heard about, like, <laughs> this on the radio so many times yesterday because I'm a Pittsburgher, okay? And I think we had, like, a pirate game or something. Um, I don't know, is I just kept saying it was, like, to, you're supposed to wear all black at the pirate game, have a blackout or something, um... And then I'm just over here freaking hilarious, waking up going, let's get ready to rumble. Like, seriously, I just think of the freaking shit they were saying on the radio for the freaking pirates. Um, okay, anyway, let's jump into tarot. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. First of all, we need, we need heightened. Alright, alright, so we're gonna do it just like the last reading, which was very awesome. No, do not do it. Stay there. I just sticky rolled. Stay down there. <laughs> talking to the cat folks. She thinks that I'm talking to her, which is hilarious. Look guys, my allergies are acting up. Don't even freaking judge me. Don't you freaking dare. We will freaking go at it. Alright. Now we're gonna clarify like we did in my last reading. We're going to use my two pretty decks. This is, they're both like angels, mermaids, and fairies, I think. All right, and goddesses and all that good stuff. Okay, let's do this. Oh, please, with this freaking allergy, stop torturing me, okay. We're going to have y'all facing the cards first, and then we're going to get into this for real. We have the Eight of Cups at the bottom, so maybe this is a time for you guys to walk away from something in your life. And at the same time, I mean, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of that deck, too, so it's more like double clarification than anything, man. I mean, I'll save those two, because that's a heck of a fucking clarification just with these two starting out. So Capricorns, the first message that I'm getting for you is that you are supposed to walk away from something that is taking from you, taking your energy, taking your your ability to love others, your ability to have good energy, um, <clears throat> to be kind, to be nice, to be generous. Whatever energy you're staying stuck in, if you're not walking away from it yet, um, you will soon. There's going to be an ending to it soon. I think you're putting up with less than you deserve. I think you're pouring love into people who are not pouring love into you. Um, I think you're giving effort into people who are not giving effort back, um, and you're just ready to walk away because you can't consistently try to feed people or give them love and never receive anything back, Capricorn. You will eventually just be hurt. You will end up with resentment. You will not end up in a good energy. You'll end up actually unloving all of these people who are not pouring back into you so please remember you know are you pouring into good people are you pouring into people who are breadcrumbing and using you and taking advantage of you are you pouring into people who give you love and and respect back or are you in the need right now to maybe set up some firm boundaries because you're an over pleaser uh, uh, an over pleaser um an over giver an over lover and and i'm not saying that that's ever a wrong thing to do don't ever stop you know your beautiful heart from being beautiful don't don't ever do that please Capri horns but do not let yourself be taken advantage of because there's not a lot of people in this world that can be as giving as people who are i would say earth signs who are the material you know money money go-getters okay so capricorns i think that your energy will be restored the second that you can walk away from the situation that you are in or the or some people or some things in your life that are just not for your highest good any longer maybe you've poured into them for eight plus years okay i'm getting like eight over here like you've poured into people and things for a very long time and that's normal but it's time to get away from all of that um see it says the desire to move on to search for something more meaningful you need some spiritual and emotional growth see you're not getting any in the situation that you're in you're just pouring it into someone else and and they're just receiving and you're not getting anything you're not even getting good energy you're draining yours you're doing burnouts for yourself this is burnout energy this is where i'm too tired to even take care of myself because i'm taking care of everyone else around me and i'm not giving myself any love this is where you need to pour into yourself now and it's clarified by the end of a very very tough mental cycle so i think that you pouring into all of these people and and 
having expectations that should never have been there like maybe you were expecting things back do not do that you will forever be disappointed Capricorns don't expect people to pour love back don't expect people to give money back don't expect anyone to be like you if you're that way if you're considerate if you're generous if you're giving not everyone is going to be that way that can cause this energy to okay this is where you couldn't take any more in the mental brain like, I can't take any more upstairs in my mental state. I've completely crashed. This is the burnout. This is the ten of swords. This is where you hit rock bottom. This is where you are so hurt mentally and emotionally that you're fucking done. And I'm going to leave it right there. You're done with someone or multiple things, multiple people or multiple situations you're done with. You will not put up with less than you deserve any longer because Capricorn, like I said, <clears throat> The Ten of Swords, it doesn't get worse than that. That's a step above trauma. That's where you have literally damaged your energy to a point of mental health, depression, anxiety, complete exhaustion, burnout. I mean, you probably can't even think that clearly if all you're thinking of is the hurt and the pain and the resentment and the things that are caused, like, disappointment from others. Like, if you had an expectation, like, I love this person, they're going to love me back. I respected them, they'll respect me back, but you got none of that. So eventually, it just killed off your energy so bad you're in burnout mode and i'm sorry to say that you're in burnout mode but that's okay because the next two cards are amazing oh i love when readings do this to me all right this is what we're gonna do we're gonna keep doing it like this this is fun all right so we're gonna take these two cards we're going next guys <clears throat> we're gonna say oh, i'm doing it look even that nine of swords is coming out but it's okay because it's it's it, it's clarifying the two of of uh wands like why would you want to go forward you know why would you want to move on all right cappies we're gonna say it like it is your current situation your present situation that you are in is the eight of cups it is time for you to walk away my intuition isn't just gonna let this go um and it is time to move on. You are going to have clarity in this situation, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful. It's something that you absolutely need to walk away from. So please, Capricorns, do it for your highest good. <clears throat> you have so much victory coming in, okay, as your influence. This is your influence, your positive or negative influence on the Eight of, of, of Cups here. Um, <clears throat> I hope I didn't say the Eight of Swords. Either way, you've got anxiety there, so it doesn't matter. Um this is victorious this is success this is i'm gonna go after what i want now i'm going to you know give myself the recognition that i deserve and people are also going to do the same thing maybe uh you're going to step into some success once you get rid of the the mental chaos that is disturbing the crap out of your poor mind okay so how do i want to say this in your situation um the people that were not giving before may actually step up and start to give now, but that does not mean to reopen a door to anxiety, to people that breadcrumbed and used you. They're just going to, you know, honestly, they just may sit and watch and they may, may be envious and a little bit jealous because people get resentful towards you when you stop giving them the things you were. And they... They end up, like, disrespecting you like they weren't in the first place. They end up being a little bit worse towards you and then then there's that envy and that jealousy and that I can't believe that Capricorn caught on to the fact that I wasn't giving in with to them and now they're going to watch your success they're going to literally probably be pissed off you're going to have victory you're going to have success you're going to either step into a new career or talent that makes you happy right now your creative ability is like peaking and when I say peaking it's clarified by the freaking ace of wands Okay, do you see what a freaking amazing major arcana reader you're going to have a brand new beginning in creativity and ideas and in yourself? You're going to probably be a brand new you, fiery, sexy, shiny, charisma, ideas, um... Like I said, the creativity to do things that you love, like like do-it-yourself projects or entrepreneur or tarot or <clears throat> anything, crafts, um, the, the resin things that you make, um... If there is some way for you to make money that is creative that you want to do by yourself, you're going to do it. Or is there a job or a career that you want to take that you would like to take off or that you haven't actually tapped into but you've wanted to for a very long time? Like hair or say say you're a male, maybe you want to like start getting into like electrical or engineering or carpentry or bricklaying or whatever is happening. Lawn, lawn and garden, I mean summer's coming male or female, whatever success is coming in for you, it is a big major 
work on it. You are finally stepping away from what was a terrible, terrible cycle in your life. Like a terrible of 10 years of karma. I'm going to just say what my intuition is saying. A terrible eight years of putting up with people who did not deserve your love. You just kept giving to them. And I think that you were mentally damaged by every situation for like 10 years. I'm going to say it, the decade of karma. This is like something that I've come up with. I feel like when we experience karma, we experience it for that long. Like a fucking decade. It feels like forever. I'm sorry about the language. <clears throat> All right. So it says, you know, it says exactly what I said. Victory, good news, and public recognition and awards. Awarding mean you're going to get money. You're going to be successful at whatever you're going to, to step into. Whether that is, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to pour love into me. That's going to be successful. I'm going to set up firm boundaries. I'm not going to be like I was before and let these people take advantage of me. That is going to be successful. People are going to be mad because you're finally pouring into yourself, Capricorns. But that's okay because at the end of the day... Are you going to be the one that's going to make the money to pay your bills? Or are those breadcrumb and suckers, them succubuses, them vampires, them energy stealers? Exactly my point. Goodbye to them fuckers. And they can be pissed. They can be envious because you know what? Get a job. Get your own ideas. Get your own bread. That's what I have to say. We're done being used and taken advantage of. Holy crap, it couldn't make any more sense. The base of your situation. I mean, this is amazing. This is real. <laughs> the movie's over. All right. <clears throat> Dude, even the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Freaking Swords did come out over there. I can't wait to get to them now. The base of your situation is you're deciding. Okay, this is Hercules mode. Do I want to give up? Do I want to surrender? Do I want to continue? Do I want to surrender? Do I want to keep going? Do I need to choose a new path? This is you finally like, okay, before you give up the crown Capricorn, before you give up completely and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do anything anymore. I'm just going to let my mental health and these people win. No, you're fucking not. No, you're not. You're going to get back on that horse. It says so right here. You see, you got back on that horse, Cappy. <laughs> All right. So get back on that horse. And I want you to literally choose the path to victory. Choose the path to success. Choose the path that is for your highest good, your highest vibration, and friends. Maybe you will meet someone along this journey. We're on a very 12-12. See, it could be soulmate. It could be twin flame. It could be best friend. It says you've come into your own and it says new partnerships and it, see what I mean? And it says to continue to move forward. Oh my goodness. Okay. See, you're going to take action here, Capricorn, towards something very, very soon. This is like where you're weighing out your decisions on what career to maybe take, what creative idea, creative ability, what do you need to work on? And I'm going to say right here, the path that you need to choose is for your highest good. And okay, let's just picture this. Do you have a crossroads right now? Like, Let's picture the letter Y, okay? You're either going to go on the right side of that Y or you're going to go on the left side of that Y. <clears throat> but which one brings you the highest vibration and which one brings back the past and anxiety? So we're not going to go backwards. We're not going to do that. Now, when I describe the two of wands, which is fire energy, okay? We have water. We have fire energy. We have air energy. We have fire energy. We have fire. We have air energy. All right, let's keep going. Now, when I say like, do you want to go backwards? Heck no, you don't want to go backwards, okay? And I don't think that you want to stay where you are, but right now you kind of are at the base of your situation to where you are kind of like in the process of healing and moving on and deciding. This is the end of the tough cycle. This is the new beginning. It hasn't exactly like started yet. Your influence is about to be huge though. It's such a major arcana. It's the Ace of Wands. So with this being the base of your situation, um, Hercules, before he gives up and like is like oh i'm not impressing any of these people by fighting all these monsters uh that they, they don't see me as a part of their world they just see me as basically a superhuman but they don't give a crap about me they're i'm not going to have my name written in the stars and i'm ready to give up like um and then right before he gives up He's like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to have my fucking name written in the stars. I am going to be freaking Hercules. I am going to literally make a way for like to literally be with the people that I belong with. Like Hercules tries to get back to his parents, to the gods, to people that he, his family. And maybe this is like the road and the decision to your soul family. This is the base of your situation to find people, partnerships, contracts, people that love you, whether that is marriage, friendship, soulmates, twin flames, um, picking your own family. Um, it's not going to be a bad one. You're going to finally pick the road that does not cause you fucking nightmares and grief and people that just cause more trauma 
mental conflict, um, abusing and bruising your heart and mind. I am like literally going to move on from that energy because, because you're going to move on from that energy. I mean, you're going to move on and it's going to be beautiful. End of a tough cycle, beginning of a fucking brand new boom, sexy one. And then the decision, the decision that's going to be probably the toughest thing for you to decide 15, 15, but Mental health can keep us stuck. Mental health can have a fear-based mentality to be in our way from moving on. Try, Capricorn. Try your hardest to not stay stuck in mental health. It can hold you down for a lifetime. All right. I better pause this to blow my freaking nose. All right. We're back. <laughs> All right. We're going to continue doing what we were doing. Next two cards are amazing. Guys, you're just going to die. You're just... Just take a peek at the two of cups and these. Just take a peek. Did I not tell you that new people and new love, new partnerships, contracts? Okay, I said contracts. Okay, contracts. Meaning, like, could have been marriage, could be something else. I'm okay now. What's in your immediate past, Capricorn? What's in your immediate past, Fish? Oh my goodness, could this be any better? Finally. Finally, the illusions of fear and limiting beliefs and blockages and, and, and the damage, like the mental abuse, okay? The verbal abuse, the things that's stuck in your mind, you're releasing them like a pack of fucking wild horses that just got freed into the biggest freaking 20,000 acre property, okay? They are running free. Like, I have been freed from the weight that's been holding me back, holding me down. I knew this card was coming out. I freaking knew it when we were on the freaking eight of cups, okay? Okay. But Capricorns, do you see that? It is clarified by you, my queens. It is clarified by the Capricorn, by the goats. It's like double clarification that you are going to seriously. And then when I see the cards matter, when they go um like across and up and down, they matter. Okay. It's like right below you walking away. Once you walk away is the freedom, the freedom, the peace. The no more holding you back. The no more, I'm going to dwell on who said this and who told me to be like that and who hurt me this way and I have the resentment for this person still from 20 years ago. No, 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 no. We're getting rid of things that we're holding on to that no longer serve your highest good. We are in the year of the Aquarius. Um, I'm going to say it. It's the year that no one gives a fuck anymore. Okay, so if you think that anyone's giving a shit like they used to, maybe they finally just don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> like, enemies. Like, it's the year of the Aquarius, so no one gives a fuck. Oh, me and this nose are gonna fight. <laughs> okay, so, anywho. So, you've been trapped, again, by illusions, limiting beliefs, okay? And it says, an illusion of being trapped, lack of self-confidence, all you have been self-sabotaging, Capricorn, because you haven't been pouring into your damn self. Afraid. Afraid to take action. What is the Eight of Swords? It is air energy. It is mental health. It is the mental health card. It is anxiety, period. One word to clarify this is anxiety. Okay, to clarify this being in your immediate past, you go, girl. You go, boy. <laughs> because, like I said, you're the goat. You're the boss. You're the moneymaker. You're the go-getter. You're gonna go after what you want, Capricorn. You're gonna, like, make it so fruitful. Dude, what kind of flowers are those? Are those literally what I think they are? I can't tell if they're pansies or orchids. But either way, one, both of them are beautiful. I just saw 844. I'm going to take it. That is 4444. Um, you are divinely protected Capricorn. You're allowed to change. You're allowed to have growth. You're allowed to love yourself. You're allowed to bloom beautifully. Like I said, you're about to be sexy. You're about to heal. You're about to be walking away from things and people that do not deserve your time and love at all. Okay? Oh... I am so excited for you, Capricorns. I can't believe it's clarified by your ass. By your butt cheeks. <laughs> oh, and the next card's just even more amazing because it's your crowning thoughts and it's the two of cups. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> and then you have another major arcana, which is the ace of swords. And the ace of swords should come out at this point because what happens when you finally get mental clarity and you don't block yourself and you don't pour into everyone else instead of yourself what happens you attract abundance you attract soulmates energy soul tribes abundance i don't know if i said that already um blessings the 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 will to be your creative most 
high vibrational, confident, self-taking action with a clear mindset, a clear new mindset. I'm so excited for you Capricorns. Oh my goodness. Me and my nose, hold on. All right, Capricorns, hopefully I can sound a little bit better, like I can breathe. Okay, now let's get back to the beautiful energy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just even when it gets better, it gets better, guys. It gets better. <laughs> it gets better after this. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, guys, if you like my content, I am Ronnie Lynn. I am Cosmic Mermaid Tarot. I am Baby Girl. I am, you know, Gypsy Hippie Soul. Whatever you would like to call me, you know? Okay, cool. Please hit like and subscribe. Um comment pink and purple hearts or pink and purple flowers for the lovely cosmic mermaid tarot please thank you i like my mermaid colors and let's get back to the reading um now what is in your crowning thoughts capricorn love is on the noggin love is on the brain love is on the brain and you're thinking of it clearly like i know what i want i know who i want okay so anyway let me get back to it i'm too excited <clears throat> let's get serious <laughs> look how beautiful these freaking mermaids are look how beautiful they're just stunning and they're with the dolphin and little freaking flounders and there's many other dolphins and oh my goodness it's just amazing it says a relationship that either continues to grow closer or a new one and it says that there is forgiveness um I mean, maybe you could forgive somebody. I mean, there could be forgiveness here. I mean, soulmates, oh, I mean, come on, 2121 is what I saw just now, okay? So, again, it's like 1212 again, but reversed. A positive resolution, um, either way, you could just, okay, a relationship could be, okay, say you have a friend right now in mind, or someone in mind. Maybe the relationship is about to gr grow closer, um, <clears throat> It's going to continue in a very positive, loving way. And if it's something new, which I think it's absolutely something new, Capricorn, I do not believe that you have had anyone right now in your life that is like the soulmate, soulmate that you've needed. I think the people in your life right now, you kind of need a switch up here. I'm not going to play no games. So if this is not your story, please leave now. With 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 love and respect, I'm not playing no games. If, if you're in a relationship, I don't think this reading is for you. Unless it's you walking away from relation a relationship you're in currently with that Eight of Cups and you're stepping into a new one. If you're not leaving your person or you're not setting firm boundaries with your person to be like, I deserve better than the way you're treating me and then what you're putting into this, then, then this is not your reading, okay? It can be for both. It can be for singles and, and for um, couples, okay? And if I want to put it in the way, the perspective of a couple's, you're walking away from a situation that no longer is serving your highest good. And honestly, dump that sucker. It's time that you care about yourself, Capricorns. You can't stay somewhere that no one's ever going to pour into you. Um, unless that's what you want, then, you know, if you're able to, to keep putting up with this, then go ahead. But if there is no healing that's going to happen in this relationship, like, okay, it says you're going to come into new partnerships with your two of wands. I'm going to say if it is for somebody who's in a relationship, I believe you're going to find a new person. I'm not going to sit here and make up something else for you. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that it's going to work out in the relationship that you're in because it may not. Um, but then again, it can. You can grow closer with forgiveness if you can get past this mental health, this anxiety, this trauma. But there is so much abuse showing up here. I would walk away and close that door for fucking ever. Because you should never think that your soulmate should abuse you. That's what you call a karmic. That's the lesson. It is a soulmate, but it is a bad one. It is the one that we have to learn from and we have to leave. And it can be one of the strongest connections ever. Which is probably why it took so long for Yuns to walk away. Um, or for you to leave a situation. You could have walked away from many karmics. That can be anyone, family members, partners, friendships, anything. But let, let's talk about the new. This is definitely new. This is new. And when I say the cards line up, they matter. When they go across and up and down, they matter. Capricorn. Let me just like show you what I mean. You have literally went from I'm walking away from the people that are not pouring into me and I am out of freaking water and love for you. Time for me to wa run free freedom done with the limited beliefs the blockages the things that you people put into my head that just stopped my growth and make me think horribly and then when i tell you that the cards matter capricorn 
It is the end of the tough cycle of mental conflict. You're stepping into the blooming, beautiful, new fucking you. <clears throat> I love it. I absolutely adore this. And then, okay. Success. Recognition recognition, victory. People are going to see how you've grown, how beautiful you've got, Capricorns, male or female, how fiery um, maybe the ambition has gotten in you, how you want to like pursue your dreams now, how you've changed, how you're different. People are going to be like, wow, I saw Capricorn always in like a very, very bad energy, very down, very, very sad that Capricorn's changing. I see growth and men and, and Believe me, it's not up to anybody to even see your growth, though, so remember that. It's up to you to see that growth. It's up to you to be proud of you, Capricorns. <clears throat> and, um, I, I can't get to the card that's gonna be there yet. It's the Strength card, though. And uh, that's awesome! Um, but let me just... Let's clarify. You're about to have soulmates come in who are people who are loving, understanding, empathetic. They are not people who are misunderstanding and rude and tell you to get over it and are not empathetic. They're sympathetic. They just feel bad for you and they really can't fucking stand you. They don't give a shit about you. That's not what's happening here. The Two of Cups is someone who's coming in either as a best friend, a lifetime soulmate, a person who comes in with only love and acceptance no matter what is wrong with you. They love you no matter what. <clears throat> and you know that this is your person. This is in your crowning thoughts, Capricorn. So you're thinking of, I want either new friendships, new relationships, new soulmates. I want new love. That is an amazing thing. And you're going to attract it right now because why? You have a clear brand new mindset, another major arcana. This is literally in your crowning thoughts. Your crowning thought, your, your mind right now has been like wiped fucking clean, wiped clean from mental health. That does not happen often in our lifetimes. We can feel like grief and misery can last a lifetime. Is that not true? It is. Okay. So now when I say that you're going to have a success, success with whether that is career or success with new relationships, you have success. And when I say the cards matter when they're up and down, you have two major arcanas. You're, you have fiery, creative, new beginnings and, and abilities and, and talents and ideas that are just brewing that are ready to come out and shine brightly. And whether that is hair and makeup, whether that is like, like I said, manly work, gardening, co um, construction, um, um, I'm trying to think, um, you know, business, casual, however, lawyer, um, I'm trying to think of like manly jobs or, or just like, okay, you have new ideas. Maybe you want to be a male tarot reader. There are so many of them, or you want to be an entrepreneur, meaning your own boss. You want to have your own casino business or your own little gambling place or, um, your own, um, what are those? It's like a bar, but you have to have like the, like the membership. So like a membership for, um, for uh, a club or whatever, like, uh, to get in somewhere. I'm getting all these ideas. Oh my goodness. Someone has ideas. Who has ideas? Capricorn, put it in the comments if it's you. Um, <clears throat> but yes, your mind is so clear, but it is literally brewing with so much creativity. You are about to like launch some shit. Whether that is new ideas, whether that is your career taking off to a higher advantage, whether they're, you're finally like, you know what? I took my power back. Fuck around and find out. I love it. That is two huge new beginnings in your life, Capricorn, that you are going to love. These are new major arcana. These are not just some page. This is a huge new beginning coming out here. Look at this beautiful energy. Now, are you ready for what is in your immediate future? What's your immediate future, babe? How about you tell me it? If you can interpret the cards, the Six of Swords and the Strength card, tell me. I want you to think for five seconds. Capricorn, you are strong enough to get away from what no longer serves your highest good. Yes, my nose is awesome. Okay. Anyway, love your tarot reader. <laughs> okay, so let's get back into this, Capricorn. In your immediate future, finally, baby girl, baby boy, you getting away from anything no longer serving your highest good. This is where you row the boat away under that fucking storm cloud and you weather the storm yourself and you're going under it. And then there's the rainbow, the light, the sunshine, the, the good news. And it says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation. I told you the end of a tough situation. 
This is finally where you walk away from the mental conflict that's been weighing you down. The stress, the people in your life that are no longer for your highest good. I'm going to say it. But it's you finally. You're like, you know what? I was so scared to ever get in this boat. I was waiting and staring at this boat. Okay, if that's your car, if that's the house, if that's the road you're supposed to take. I mean, when I say the cards line up, they sure as shit do. Because <clears throat> let me just grab that card. Okay. Capricorns. You are going to do it. You are choosing the Hercules road to success. You are finally getting in the boat, starting the engine, and getting the fuck out of your situation. You're going for what you want now because why are you going to hold yourself back from unhappy? From like, like, okay, you're unhappy. This is unhappiness. So why would you hold yourself back from the happy from that? Like, no more. We're not going to stay here and keep getting stabbed in the back by people who don't love you, who pretend to love you, who have false masks on who come back with sorries and not change, who who never actually say sorry, who actually don't hold their self accountable, who keep thinking they're going to have you to use and abuse forever. Uh-uh. Bye-bye. I finally started the engine and we are vroom vrooming the fuck away. That means no more anxiety. And when I tell you no more anxiety, okay, first let me just clarify these two. Okay, remember, this is your immediate future. You're about to have the strength to overcome mental conflict, mental health. Things that people now say to you, you're not even going to give the reaction. You're walking away like, did you really just say that to me in my head is what you're going to think? And you're just going to give it an eye roll or not a reaction at all. You're going to walk away with that lion energy and be like, you know what? Watch me and my tail and my sexy buns walk away from you as I shine brightly in my Leo energy and watch me drive this boat the fuck away from this whole conversation situation and act like I never met you because that's what us goats will do if you've hurt us to a point of no return there's not going to be forgiveness for trauma like that it's just just it's just not a thing no I'm sorry unless you both were toxic then maybe okay you both got to be sorry in the situation if you both had this problem but you're done putting up with less than you deserve. You're done with nightmares. You're done with trauma. You're done with not being able to sleep. You're done with feeling sick and nauseous. You're done with all of this terrible mind chatter, mind racing chaos. Done. Done with it. Finally stepping into your power, Capricorns, your sun energy, your strength energy. This is amazing. All right. So that is your immediate future, Capricorns. Are you ready for what is next? I'm going to put your cards down. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups in your fears position. You also have how do people view you as the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Wands. People are going to fight for you, Capricorn, because you're independent right now and they're not going to be happy or they're going to be envious. I'm going to say like it is. We also have the Nine of Cups, guys. Yes, we do, babe. Yes, we do. What is in your hopes, Capricorn? Your wish fulfillment is to seriously have balance with your emotions. Like, literally, you want free from mental health. Your wish fulfillments are probably, like, love and, and blessings and abundance and holy shit. All right, so we're going to get into this big energy. It's going to be big. It's going to be big, big, big. Good gosh, we have a five and a five here, but that's okay. A five and a five, huh? Okay. No, we don't. It's a six. <laughs> it's okay, though. The six of swords. You'd look at this. Okay. Let me just tell you, Capricorns. You've made some unwise choices. Okay. This is in your immediate future. Okay. So don't make no more unwise choices. This is literally learn from... Okay, learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. This is the victory. This is the victory in unfortunately catching everybody up in their lies, in their deceit, in their shit. This is, you know, the outcome. This is like, you know what? I finally caught you all. You're not stabbing me in the back anymore. You're not using me. You're not abusing me. You're not breadcrumbing. You're done. You're you're caught. You caught. You got caught cheating. You got caught lying. You got caught playing me. You got caught using me. And... Again, Capricorns, what is it in your outcome is you're like, bye, Felicia. I plugged up all the holes in this boat. We fixed the engine. We have started. Oh, I hear it again. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> that is literally why Capricorns like the pirate game. Like, I don't know if we won or lost a game, but victory is here for you, babes. I'd say that... <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> I feel like you're the Steelers. I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> like, okay, you're going to feel like you're going to the Super Bowl, Capricorns, or you're going to feel like you're going to go to, like, the, the major league 
I don't know, playoffs, okay? I, I just don't know. It, it, it's crazy energy. It's victorious energy. You're like, wow, I never thought I'd get out of my head. I never thought I'd get my wish fulfillment. I never thought I'd get away from those fuckers. Those people. I mean, literally, they look beautiful. They look ethereal, but really, they're gonna... They are ready to stab you and lie. And, like, they got beautiful little unicorn horns, but really, it's bullshit. It's fake. It's false. It's lie. It's deception. It's narcissism. It is people who are tricksters. But okay, I don't want to go too far into that right now because we haven't even gotten to the bottom card. Like, that's your outcome. And I'm already jumping to your outcome, which is insane. Um, oh my goodness. Your overall energy is literally the King of Cups and the Hermit card. And then... Dude, I just can't even stop there. It's saying, don't you dare. <laughs> I won't. We have it. The Knight of Pentacles coming out twice. It's, this is crazy. Um, okay, we're going to get to this because this is like a divine match. This is like insanity here. Um, just going to leave that right there. That's beautiful energy. Now let's hop over here. First of all, let's look at Jermaine's spread cap. He's an amazingness. Okay, let's go over this one more time. Mm -hmm. My babes. <clears throat> you're done putting up with shit and it's the end of a tough cycle. You have success and you are seriously ready to create abundance and attract wealth and ideas and take action. This is where you are choosing a different road and a different path in life. No more trauma, no more mental conflict, no more bad people. This is where you're finally like, I'm free. I am the Capricorn. I am the goat. I'm running with the freaking horses right now. I'm the goat. I'm happy. I'm going. We are done with our mental shit and being held back because we have let people install shit in our freaking head. That should have never even stuck. This is where your crowning thoughts are like, I deserve love. I deserve mental clarity. I deserve it all. I deserve it all. Capricorns, write in the comments, please. Okay, if this is what you want to do to, okay, speak your truth into existence. I deserve mental clarity for my highest good. I deserve for my, okay, I deserve mental clarity for my highest good. I deserve mental clarity for my highest good. You're taking your power back, Capricorns. It's literally double clarification right after that. It's like, I started that boat. I'm driving it away. Yens are done fucking around. I'm going to find my new people, my new soul tribe, my new, new brothers, sisters who, who are going to love me and actually be a part of the pack. Look how crazy this is, Capricorn. Okay. It's as if you're running from the people in this picture that have caused you anxiety. They're still trying to chase you and, and, and bruise you and abuse you. Come back. Let me mess with your head. Let me mess with your mental state. Let me fuck with you. Let, let me make you feel bad. And then... Look who's left behind, and look who's in the boat. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you finally got away from the people that are literally not good for your energy, not good for your health. Oh, my goodness. That's that's a cool visual. I've never really got that. I've played with this deck many times. Um, <clears throat> to see that you're literally like the horse in the boat, and they're all left on land. See ya. Stay in that storm cloud. I'm weathering the storm, and I'm going under the rainbow. Bye. Okay, and I am now stepping into the sun energy and my Leo strength. How come I've never noticed these two pools of water? Dude, that's like some portal energy and infinite abundant energy going on over here, okay? I'm loving this. Dude, water is healing and that's all I'm getting. Go, go to the water. Go to the water. Play with the water. Cleanse yourself with the water. What the fuck? Okay, I'm getting the number eight and I'm getting infinite abundance. Ed, dude, what is that? And we do have... A, this could seriously be okay. Why do I want to feel like I want to say like Leo energy sometimes can be like in the number eight or in the eighth house or something about Leo energy number eight? <gasps> oh my god. You really can't make this shit up because you did the number eight... For the strength card, okay, that's in room and room and numeral numbers. That's number eight, and the two water holes right there, okay. It's the number eight. It's the infinite infinity sign. Like I've never gotten that from that card in my whole life, and that is your third eight. We do have eight 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 as your number now. I'm going to say we have another number for you too, but you ain't going to want me to say that number, but you need to not freak out. You have 666 here, but that's also clarifying at the same time. But what does 666 mean? Okay, the three sixes in spirituality, not in badness. It means to reflect. It means to reflect on what's going on in your life, and you are. 
Oh, this is an amazing energy, and I can't even believe it. I am... You're lucky I'm not screaming. <laughs> like, it's just too early for me to start. You guys don't want to hear me go crazy, but, uh, yeah. I'd say lunar eclipse, retrograde, um, new moon energy is coming. Dude, jump into this, uh... The universe is, like, opening portals is how I'm feeling right now for you. Opening doors to abundance. Opening new doors. Opening new beginnings. Infinite abundance and infinite possibilities are literally in your favor. Capricorn, don't you forget this right now. I'm telling you. 888. I don't know why I keep getting, like, this Leo strength. But, like, even though it's a Leo card, it's like the 8 is resonating with a Leo. Or I'm going to have to look into the charts now later for Leos. Um. Okay, we have to move on. Capricorns. We have the Knight of Pentacles in your fierce position. I think that you're you're scared of of okay. Why are you scared, Capricorns, of this of the slow and steady? Okay, I think that you're scared to maybe restart things in your life. I think you're scared of new love. But as long as it is slow and steady, Capricorn, don't you dare be afraid, okay? your fears position is is you're just you know you're like okay is things okay is things jeez oh man get it right girl are things going to work out for me are people going to be good to me are they going to be loyal dedicated honorable and kind like me are they going to be slow and steady or are they going to rush me are they going to make me feel pressured and make me feel that anxiety peak are they going to make me relive trauma or are they going to relax me and make me feel safe again you want to feel safe around people. You want to feel loved, accepted, not judged, not misunderstood, not gossiped about. This is where your fear is coming in. Like, okay, I'm going to be slow and steady no matter who comes into my life now and about my decisions because I have to make smart ones from here on out. I'm not going to... Capricorns, you're not letting people come back in. And it says time to buckle down and get things done and honor your commitments. You're, and it says a guardian angel. Look, I don't know if there is a another person possibly coming into your life that could be a Knight of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy. I just believe it's your energy right now, Capricorns. I think that if this is someone coming into your life, or if this is you, but it does feel like you, Capricorns. I'm going to say it like it is. It's you, babe. <clears throat> you know, you're afraid also of the options and love you're going to attract. Are they going to be just like my past? Are they going to make me feel like crap? Are they going to make me like lay in my tears and my sorrow and my grief once again and my pain and never actually say, are you okay? Or I'm sorry or, or check on me. Are they going to repeatedly just damage me and not care how malevolent and fucked up they are? This is the fear right now, Capricorn. You're fearing the love that's on your mind and your crowning thoughts. You're fearing that two of cups right now. And your two of cups, I'm not going to lie, I'm getting a little bit of an earthly vibe coming in. Like someone might be slow and steady to come in because they know you have trauma. They might not be in a rushing energy. They may be actually one of your options in love here, but... This is clarified, Capricorn, that if you're fearing a Taurus that's coming in, or you're just fearing, you know, meeting new people and love options, I mean, you could be fearing somebody that's coming in slow and steady winning the race, which would be a Taurus, and I don't believe that this night would hurt you at all. This is like, okay, you have a lot of options, though, Capricorn, so weigh out your options. Be slow and steady to make the decisions. Is this person like you? Are they loyal, dedicated, and kind? You know... And, uh, and at the at the same time, make that your energy as well, please. That has to be your energy too, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is still uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, but it's more of a Taurus energy. So let's move on to the... Uh, how do people view you, Capricorn? Are you ready? They view you as having it all. They view you as being independent, as getting your power back, as enjoying life, the little things... I mean, they see you probably getting the blessings. 43, 43. I don't think... Okay, people are not going to be happy right now, Capricorns. They are viewing you as, wow, Capricorn has growth and is gorgeous and is stunning and is blooming and has creative new ideas and is spending time alone, successful self-employment. I told you, you are going to have some type of creative new thing. 444, four, four. you're divinely protected in whatever financial... Hmm, how do I want to say this? Financial ideas that you're coming up with. Financial. Hmm, how do I want to say this? Exciting ideas because I felt like I couldn't even get it out, but it was so exciting in my stomach. Like, how do I freaking say this? Like, 
I want to do this. I want to do that. I can't wait to do this. But don't just jump. Be slow and steady as you win the race, Capricorn. And, and remember right now, you're focused on yourself, your healing, your growth, your journey right now. You've been through a lot of trauma and mental health right now. You are going to be alone to heal, to go through this. 44, 44. Again, you are divinely protected while you are alone and you're healing. Remember right now, you're just enjoying life. You're healing. You're enjoying little things. You're enjoying your progress. You're enjoying the time alone. That's not the people around you that have been fucking with your mental state. You're like, thank you. Leave me alone. Finally, I have, I have ended up on my island with my boat. I'm over here now and I'm going to have my peace and my freedom right now. <clears throat> Look how calm you are, Capricorn, in the middle. Like, as everyone's trying to get in your ear, you're just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Keep trying to yell at me. Keep trying to put another limiting belief. Keep trying to fight with me. Keep trying to create chaos. Keep trying to have drama. And I'm just going to stand here and I'm just going to completely be invisible and ignore you. And they're going to wonder why the fuck are you not giving them the reaction that they want. They're like pissed. This is conflict and drama. This is how everyone's going to look at this now. They're like, how come if you're independent and you have money and good things going on right now, Capricorn, how come you're not helping me anymore? How come you're not letting me use you anymore? How come you're not letting me, you know, take your energy, your mental chaos? Like, I mean, I'm sorry, your mental clarity and giving you the chaos, okay? But now you have the mental clarity. You're the queen of cups in this situation, okay? That is the queen of cups in the middle of this card in that deck, okay? And if I could go through the deck and find her, I would prove it to you right now. And if you want to just go look on another video, please do. Um, this is nuts. This is nuts, though. You're... People are pissed. I told you they'd be envious. They're going to be envious of the progress. They're going to be envious of the new ideas. They're going to be envious of you wanting to be alone. Let me tell you, it is as if every time a Capricorn minds their business and only works... It is a problem for everybody else that cannot fucking have access and use them. Too bad. Kick rocks. And you are not holier than thou. And keep trying to find dirt to put on my fucking name. Done. Done with it. Hold on a sec. Gotta write it down. <clears throat> Alright, Capricorn. I'm sorry. I had to write that down. I don't want to forget that. Um, But yeah. People can keep kicking rocks, trying to find dirt, trying to find something to, to literally say about you. But if anyone brings you up now, they're bringing you up in a conversation so they can talk bad about you. They're running smear campaigns on your name because they're jealous and envious. They want to know why. Why are they not getting that type of progress or that? Why are they not that lucky? People are just so fucking envious of people who are doing good. But remember, don't give them your power. Don't even give them a thought. They're not even like, don't even give them any of your energy. You give them enough of it. Now they get to waste their energy trying as hard as they can to bring you down. It's not happening anymore. When you're balanced like this, it's over for them. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> you're not holier, holier than thou. I have already been through the hell and back that you've put me through. Why would you think I deserve more of any fucking thing from you? It's time for you to die off and die off. Like literally, I've burnt the bridge, bitch. Stop trying to walk across it to me, to my land. You're not getting there, okay? Try building it forever because you're never ever going to get to my island that I've gotten to. All right, Capricorns. What do we have in your hopes? You're hoping for balance, your balance here, okay? Your need for balance, which means you need to balance out your anger, your emotions, your, your, um, I mean, I said it the right way. You need to be grounded and not so emotional. You need to be clear minded to make clear decisions. You don't need to be, okay, when you rush things, you cannot think clearly. You cannot make logical decisions. You're thinking with an anxious and anxiety-filled mind. You cannot make a clear, positive decision. You're going to make a reckless, irrational one that is reckless. Like, okay, don't do that. Do not just jump and be slow and steady, Capricorns. Be balanced. This is now the temperance card. It's set like Sagittarius energy, I think. And it is where the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. And it says to wait for the perfect time. I'm going to say it now. Now is the perfect time, Capricorn. Okay. But that is in your hopes. Okay. The perfect time is happening though. Your wish fulfillment. What is the nine of cups, Capricorn? It's in your fucking hopes. This came out in your hopes, dude. In your hopes. You're getting your wish fulfillment and your hopes. It is your hope. It's the hope card. Clar okay, it's clarifying that what you're hoping for, which is balance in the mental state, in the, in the human body that feels like shit while it's grieving and processing, you know, 
human feelings, human emotions, you know, the terrible stuff that we go through, the grief, the loss, the pain, the bad health, the abuse. You want balance in all ways. I can't even believe that this has come out in your host position because how could this have literally, you got your wish fulfillment. Like, I think that with hoping, as much as you've been hoping, Capricorn, it came true. It's like a manifestation, clarification. It's coming true. The love you're wishing for, the friends you're wishing for, the the life you're wishing for, the way out that you've been wishing for, the decisions you've wanted to make for yourself, the success you've wanted to bring in, it's all here in this in your hopes and it's coming true. It's clarified. The balance is bringing in abundance. Angels, guardian angels like no other. Divine timing has definitely arrived. Now your outcome, Capricorn, is I caught you all. I caught every one of you. I saw every one of your true colors. All of them false masks fell the fuck off. They all fell off. I made unwise choices with you people by letting you in. But I, but at the same time, we all have to give people a chance. And that's when you weigh out your options. Don't get sucked into their traps. Their blockages they may be the blockage itself you know what i'm saying don't let someone who it has a god complex who who wants to scare you with their voice who who is a power hungry person um people who always have to be in control of you and your thoughts and your life no 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 no. i don't fucking think so these are the people who are cheating on you lying to you never saying sorry but are still trying to literally be the person in your lives they're not for your highest good. And, and you're like, you know what? We're done. We've learned from this situation. We're going to review everyone's motives from now on because we're never going to go back to these gossiping queens or gossiping assholes, however you want to say it. I'm not going to, okay? King or queen, however it resonates. We're not going to care what people even say about us anymore. Let them talk. Because at the end of the day, like I said, people are only going to bring you up now in conversations to run smear campaigns on your name, Capricorn. They're only going to bring you up and... They want someone to honestly bring your name up in a conversation. And some people like narcissists, they're smart enough to say something that will have another person bring your name up so that they can start talking about you badly, start saying things, start putting you down so that everyone else in their friendship group who also is a false, fake, phony, fucker, malevolent piece of shit who is literally just going to talk bad too. And then there you go. There's everyone in a room talking bad, gossiping, running smear campaigns on you, Capricorn. But why? Why, if they don't like you, are they bringing you up in conversation? Why, if they don't want nothing to do with you, are they still so stuck on your success? Why are they still so upset that you cut them out of your life? Because you were the bomb, baby. And now they fucking lost that. They lost you. They lost the blessing and they know it. This is where they finally, you know, realize they made un unwise choices and treated you very very badly now they're like man we gotta talk about her because that's all we can do she got away he got away <laughs> six of swords is where you're finally getting away from things that are no longer serving your highest flipping good beautiful okay now things are going to look up the end of a difficult situation right here the end of all them situations is your outcome fuck yeah man okay <laughs> So that's your lovely energy, Cappies. I mean, what? Beautiful. Just amazing, right? Just amazing. Let me make sure I didn't do something wrong here, okay? Present. Influence. Because I think I might have. Um, base. Past. Im um, crowning thoughts. Immediate future. What did I do wrong here? I didn't do anything wrong. There's two cards and then four around it. And then the four. Okay, I'm good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I did it right. Okay, fears. How do people view you? Hopes, position, outcome. Remember, immediate future, outcome. All right? That is the Celtic cross so the chins know. Now we're going to dive into these energies that are right here. Yes, we are. Capricorn. We have someone that is coming in that is trustworthy, that is empathetic, that you have been wishing for probably. Okay. All I have to say is, what did what did you want? Okay, what is in your fears position? You're a fear. You're, you're afraid of people who are not going to come in with loyalty, dedication, being honorable, being loyal, like an earth sign, and being kind. Yes, they are. You do not have to fear if anyone good is coming in. There is good people coming in. There are good people in your life. 
there is Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy here as a love option and also a Taurus energy as a possible love option here. Um, oh, Capricorns. Open your heart and mind to those around you because they're trustworthy and they have heartfelt advice. And it says charity work. Maybe you should do some charity work, Capricorn. Um, or this person is going to, like, I don't know, be giving? I don't know. I don't... I forget the charity part, okay? All I have to say is if you want to help people, help people. But right now you're trying to set firm boundaries. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross... I'm rebuking the, the charity work, okay? Maybe someone's actually going to come in and give to you, Capricorn. Like, oh my goodness, I have seen Capricorn just receive trauma and shit ends of every stick. Let me freaking come in and love you, babe. Let me give you the respect and compassion you deserve. Let me give you this trustworthy love that I'm about to bring in. Look at this boss-ass guy. Look at this hottie. Look at this guy. Okay, and if this is like, you know, just wait the queen's coming okay so if this is reversed and you're the male in this situation then maybe this is your energy you you want to be loving and confident and trustworthy this is the compassion that you want in your life male or female but okay we all have masculine and feminine energy so if this is just you capricorn we still have the queen right behind it so you can pick whatever masculine and feminine energy you would like to be in no matter what they are both loving empathetic trustworthy tender-hearted patient I mean, this is the power couple. So let me just say that, okay? Capricorn, I'm getting two energies. If this is your energy, you've been in hermit mode, healing, meditating, contemplating in Virgo energy, waiting to see the light, the ideas, the, the clarity of the, the chaos cleared from your mental mindset and chaos, all right? Like, finally, the clarity. And if this is your person, they've been sitting and meditating in contemplation mode and they know you're their person. And they're finally like, I'm done. I'm, I've come to the light. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to take a step towards Capricorn. So we do have, again, now we have Taurus energy twice. The Knight of Pentacles has come out twice and it has literally clarified this. But this is why I feel like this is your energy more than the King of Cups. I feel like the King of Cups, whether it is male or female, it is someone who's coming in with more of a masculine energy, but more of a loving energy, okay? Even though they're a masculine. You want someone who's sensitive if you have experienced mental health and trauma. You want someone to come in that is going to be the divine counterpart, the beautiful person that can hold you up when you're crumbling into pieces, okay? And at the same time, while you're in this healing, you're going to do the same for your partner. Equal give and take. Divine, divine match. This is like unity. This is power couple. Okay, so let me get back to this, okay, Capricorns. If this, okay, this feels like your energy, which means you're in a very loving, healing energy. You are, again, always the giver, always compassionate, always tender hearted, always giving, but you are always over giving, over pleasing. So I want you to remember I know that you want to be the beautiful heart that you are. Don't you ever freaking change it, Capricorns. Um, but don't keep letting people take advantage of your tender heart. Um, be patient, be empathetic, be loving, but remember, have firm boundaries, but don't change your beautiful soul. Never, ever change your beautiful soul. Look how beautiful. Dude, it's like that, that hole of fucking water. Do you see that? Dude, why have I never seen these, like, spiral holes on these cards? What is up with the, the, um, I don't know if I want to call it a sinkhole or a portal. I'm calling it portal, Okay. This is like a portal to healing, man. You have literally went through the hole and ended up on the other side in another freaking realm dimension that is way better for your highest vibration. Capricorn is freaking wild. We have whale spirit on this card, which is amazing because if you have not heard it yet, even over here, oh my goodness, trust the great mystery with whale spirit. Are you kidding me? You have whales all over your card and if you have to, um, if you watch other readers or you have heard about this is the spirit of the whale, this is the spirit of, of, um, what is his name? The, the person that defeated the whale. Okay. Um, oh, I can't think of it right now. I'm so sorry, but people have been talking about it. Um, I'm sorry if my stomach starts growling, guys, I have to starve myself after Unithroid in the mornings. I'm getting hungry. It's going on an hour. It's time I can eat. Um, but, um, Dude, what was his name? It was a story when we were little. 
Okay, it, look up the guy's name who defeated the whale. They even made a movie on it, okay? He called it, like, the beast, but at the same time, he spent three days in the whale's stomach. I know you know what I'm talking about. And then it's like the whale spit him back out. Look, this is, like, spiritual, and this is at the same time a little bit religious. It's like, Capricorn, you needed to go through these experiences is now the download I'm getting that were very, very difficult as if you were fighting a fucking whale, but you were fighting all these human beings who like felt like they had super inhuman powers that they could really defeat you. And the universe is literally going to help you heal now. This is, this is a done deal. Okay. You have come back out of the whale and the whales have become on your team. Okay. I think like the people that might've been dragged into gossiping and hearing, like, okay, if they were naive enough to believe what someone said about you instead of meeting you and deciding for their self, then they are a very immature person that would believe some stupid rumor in high school and they would go fight someone. You know what I'm saying? That That's immaturity. That That's ridiculous bullshit. Okay. So relationships are going to develop at a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself. Yourself is first on this card and then others, Capricorns. You cannot pour from an empty cup. The Queen of Cups is a healing energy. She also heals herself and she heals others. Again, clarified by always be slow and steady, weigh out your options before you make a decision, Capricorn, especially a decision in love, a decision to be in a relationship or a friendship, anything. Always weigh it out. Slow and steady is going to win the race. And you have such a divine match here. I mean, it's just stunning energy. And then, okay, let me set this down. <clears throat> so we're just going to go one more behind that because I haven't pulled you any oracles and I'm starving. <laughs> I pulled like one oracle, we'll say, which is whale spirit, but that was like up there already. So I'm still going to get you another one. So we have the four and the empress. I'm not, I'm, I'm done after this. We're closing it out after this. Capricorns, it's saying time to recuperate, time for you to heal in that queen of cups energy. It's not a joke. Time to get that rest like you're supposed to because you have been through hell and back. Time for you to now make wise decisions and meditate. Meditating like sleeping may help you get clearer answers. Me and my nose. <clears throat> One second. All right, copies. To clarify what's going to happen after you get the rest that you fucking need, babes. Male or female, get ending up in the Empress energy, Taurus energy again. So again, I am going to say that maybe either there is a water sign with Taurus in their chart or there is a Taurus with water in their chart. No matter what, you have either a Pisces, Can Pisces Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus coming in for you or an Earth sign. There's a lot of Taurus energy, but Capricorns, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. This is you, like I said, healing yourself and still healing others. Empress energy, loving. Queen of Cups energy down to a T plus fucking, like, way more love. It's finally like the healed part of you, though, that gets to give to people now without resentment, without... <clears throat> without maybe throwing it in their face, without holding it against them. Maybe that's what you were taught, you know? If you were taught toxic cycles in your life to where people were giving to you, like family members or something, and they always threw it in your face, no one ever could do anything for you without just shutting the fuck up. They just made you feel bad for even needing them. This is the type of energy that you, finally you're not going to be in that cycle. You've broke a toxic cycle. You're not going to feel bad when you give to someone because you've already given yourself and you're going to make sure you're well rested, you're well fed, you're well loved before you help another person who needs you. That is beautiful energy. You're going to always rest and meditate, I think, and think things out clearly. Remember, slow and steady is going to always win the race, Capricorns. Um, and that is the end of your beautiful reading. I loved it. I would love to get you some healing messages because this is definitely what I would call the healing going on. Can I have some jumpers for Capricorn, please? What are you? Oh, yes. Oh, we have abundance and literally what looks like the lotus flower. You have a joy guide, which means joy right now. Joy in your life is coming in. Abundance. I told you. All right. What's at the bottom of the deck? Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. And then we have behind that unconditional love. I'm definitely going to take that because that is literally like the three of cups. This is seriously okay. Okay people coming in to support and love you and help you heal look how beautiful this this one over here is like hugging you they're like mm -hmm. it's like let me 
let me like grab the side of your face and like let you feel my warm touch and love that comes from my soul in my hand. You can rest your face in it safely, lovingly. Flint is amazing. Dude, when I say teamwork, oh, I'm getting us three of cups for both of these together. It's like this, it, it's, it's just an energy working together. I mean, people that are coming into your life, Capricorn, right now are going to love you. They're going to bring you abundance. This is all attracting good things. Let's see if we get a few other jumpers here. Can I get two more, please? That's one. That's a joy guide. Surprise! Ah, and it's a heart. Maybe someone's going to gift you. I don't know. And then I'm going to see for one more jumper. Can I have one more jumper for copies, please? And thank you for the lovely message that we have had going on, please life force another joy guide it's literally like you becoming in your queen of wands energy getting the flame back look at you you can hold the flame and the manifestation and the power in your hand in the palm of your hand capricorn you are a, a force to be reckoned with is what i'm getting at the bottom of the deck we have virgo energy we have solitude where you need to go within to heal i've never gotten that card so that's beautiful and it's the number fucking eight for me not to notice like any other number Capricorn and then we got that number eight again. Yes! Yes! Time for a rebirth Capricorn. Time for you to heal and rebirth your damn self. That is higher self message right there. Higher self learning. Alright. I'm gonna hold on. Alright Capricorns. Now to clarify, all right, with the cards that we got, I just put them on top of them already. So the unconditional love and the teamwork is definitely coming in with this water energy, with everyone that's involved right here. This is all a lot of loving energy. I mean, you could have two water signs and an earth sign and a Virgo. You could have another Taurus. There is like five energies right here in one. Five people here. Five people right here. Okay, you have a lot of teamwork and a lot of unconditional love coming in for you right now. And that is clarifying that. Now, right here with your Ace of Wands, like I said, you are a force to be reckoned with. Create and literally speak your ideas into existence. Go for it, Capricorns. Don't hold yourself back no fucking more. People have done that enough for you. And to clarify your Nine of Cups, your hopes, your balance. This will bring you the abundance and the surprises in love from the universe and the blessings. Now, right here, we have solitude. When I said rebirth, I am telling you to always be slow and steady when making these decisions, okay? And honestly, this card should be in between because it's that number eight. It's that Leo energy. It's where, you know, you're going to think about the infinite abundance you're going to have the rebirths you're going to go within you're going to meditate you're going to have that higher self that higher frequency now because you're never just going to jump and be reckless all right look the bottom of the deck you have had enough loss capricorns look at this your healer guides are telling you it's time to enough is enough look how many times you've shed your own self look how much loss you've had Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to move on. I mean, that obviously is just... I'm going to bring it over <clears throat> to clarify. You know, you lost a lot of people by putting in too much love to people who didn't give a fuck. It's sad, but it's real. Alright, I'm going to get you some angel messages. And I already pulled us an animal spirit this morning. I'm not changing it. We got this guy. And why am I not changing it? Because spring is coming. It's the perfect time for you to plant seeds right now. Seeds of fruition. Seeds that are going to grow from that to that. Think of Ice Age. <laughs> um, okay, believe in yourself, Capricorns. You can achieve great fucking things, okay? I do want to read this to you, okay? I do want to read your animal spirit message today for like the first time ever. I don't really like to read the messages, but I'm gonna because it's saying to. 57... All right, so it says, you have accumulated wisdom and experience and are surrounded by all you need. An abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work. Squirrel spirit shows up when you need reminding that the acorns you have gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow. So relax in knowing there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality you want to experience. Through diligent preparation, which means slow and steady, 
you have gained wisdom and strength. Um, how much potential you have, explanation mark, believe in yourself. For spirit believes in you and wants you to know that you have enough and that you are enough. Doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure, question mark? It should, for you have everything that you need right now. What? What? Amazing! Like, why would I change that animal spirit plus well spirit? Trust the great mystery, my babes. My babes. We have 57 and 65 as some, some lovely numbers here. And we also have... Remember, 888. Um, sorry, I was looking at something else. Um, Putting my book back. Uh, okay, what else do I want to pull you? I would like to pull you... Mermaid Oracle. And astro message for sure. Okay, astro message, mermaid oracle, angel message, and I'm closing you out. So let me just deal these out. We've been here a while. At the bottom of the deck, we do have beloved. We do have some Venus energy. Again, Empress energy. I'm going to take that and set that down. You do have the Empress card here. You are brewing new birth, new ideas, rebirth yourself, new ideas, new creativity. However, the resonates. Can I get three cards, please? And thank you for Capricorn. Can we please get three cards, three jumpers, please? And thank you. One, two, three. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the pinnacle. Oh, you are at the pinnacle. Literally, this is a good card. It's like the pinnacle to decide what do I do next? What, what do I decide to go? Not like it's like the middle, the midhaven. Um, all right. So you got in so far, you have immerse number four. You also have what the heck does that say? Sim symbiosis symbiosis. It says sextile, the planet sextile, I think is what it means. And then we have solar flares activate. Okay, I'm it's making sense now. Okay. Oh, Capricorns, babes, you have been literally what I feel like in the Eight of Swords energy showing up to just clarify. You've been blindfolded. You haven't been able to see clearly. You've been tangled up in traps. You have been in this, 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 I don't know. It's not a good energy. It, it's just proving, okay, that you need to immerse from what you cannot see is what I'm getting. You're divinely protected. We did get 444 a few times as well in your reading. Um... Let's talk about the Cancer energy. It's time for you to immerse like Scorpio energy. Immerse from rebirth energy. I see the moon energy here. Okay. Immerse. Immerse. Um, how do I want to say this? Like continue on. Push forward. Push through the mud. Push through the things. And time to remove the blindfolds, Capricorn. Take them off so that you can see clearly. So that you can be a symbol for other people to want to look up to. Not something that people are like, oh, that's a low vibrational person who's in a bad energy, bad mental health time for you to have the solar flares of the lunar eclipse the moon retrograde however you want to take this it is time for you to be in activation it's like your chakras are now going to be so grounded you're going to be in this activation mode you're going to activate the things that you like the ideas the love you're going to attract the abundance all right now let's continue capricorn now if you have the activation like this, okay, and you're ready to literally go, like you're shining bright, everything is literally illuminating, everything is illuminated, okay, you're in empress energy, you can make all this happen, Capricorn, you don't have to stay stuck in the pinnacle, in the middle, like, like in the middle of like heaven and hell, like, like, what do I do now? It's like the pinnacle, the point of the decision here you have to make. Time to do it, Capricorns. Let's do this. And then it says think. We have think back there. Athena energy. Time for you to think with the wisdom you've learned. Okay, think. Athena. Now let's get your mermaid messages. Thank you. I love jumpers. They are so appreciated. Oh, thank you. We have three jumpers already. I'm loving this. And then one from the bottom I will take. And any other messages? Because there was a lot of jumpers that came out of that. Is there any other messages for copies? Last shuffle. No, honestly, at the bottom of the deck, there is you on the fucking whale and it says ready, set, go. Do I need to literally say this anymore? What is that story? Something in the whale, something in the whale. What the fuck was his name? 
I'll think of it later. I'm going to Google it as soon as I'm done. It says, now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desires. Okay? This is amazing. All right, Capricorn. So, I mean, could that be a better outcome for you? I mean, seriously, I cannot. Is it like David? David? No, David and Goliath. That is that is something and a, and a giant. That's different. This is the guy in the whale. The guy in the whale. What the fuck was his name? Davy Jones. I know I'm right. I'm thinking of the Page Master movie. I know if y'all have watched the Page Master as a kid, for that to pop up in my mind, the visual in that movie. Did I say, I, I forgot his name already. Holy shit. Something in the will, something in the will. I just said it. I just said it. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I have to think of this. How did it just draw a blank but give me the answer? Like, what? I know if y'all know the page master part. Davy Jones. I figured it out. <laughs> David Jones. Dave Jones. I don't know. I hope I'm right. Okay. Anyway, ready, set, go. Capricorn, this is go time. All right, Capricorns, before my stomach eats me alive, we have to got to hurry. So I'm going to get your angel messages before I read the rest of your mermaid ones. You can see I'm getting jumpy now. I need food. I started to shake a little bit on a few of the cards. One, two, three. All right. At the bottom of the deck, damn, do we have twin flame coming out. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know. Okay. But it does say... The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship and a twin flame relationship is a relationship you learn from, you learn with, you grow with. It is expansion. It is amazing. <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, I'm sorry, at the top of the deck, it says ear chakras, ear chakras. What the frick? Okay. So I would say, listen, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers this is like literally that four of swords i told you meditate and you will get answers it's real shit okay let me set this over here this lovely twin flame energy this is amazing oh that is someone that will help you capricorns with your growth okay i'm sorry if my stomach starts growling but there is nothing that i can do i'm starving at this point starving and then my nose driving me crazy okay capricorns we have morning affirmations that came out this is a beautiful card look how stunning she is and it says say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation so like i said like put things in the comments positive things uplift yourself i cannot remember exactly what i said but well i am welcome to the clarity the abundance, the manifestations. I am a force to be reckoned with. Like, okay, say in the mornings, okay, Capricorns, I am worthy of unconditional love. I am worthy of healing. I am worthy of living the life I want to. I am worthy of not being controlled. I am worthy of it all. All right, guys. So remember, manifest things in your life that are for your highest good. I mean, say it. I am, I can overcome my anxiety in the morning. I am going to receive my wish fulfillment. I can have balance. I can overcome my mental health. Um, I do believe in myself. Okay. You have the believe in yourself card. So I want you to, to start off with that as your first morning affirmation. Okay. I want you to say, I believe in myself. I am welcome to hmm, limitless possibilities and infinite abundance. Okay. Let's continue. All right, Capricorns, we have let yourself receive. Remember, you've been giving too much to people and it's time for you to receive. Allow others to give you loving care and receive without guilt or apologies. Sometimes when we're the giver, we can't even receive because we're so guilty that we have to give right back like we didn't give before. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. I'm putting this over here with your uh, Nine of Pentacles. We also have mother healing energy, so either you need to do some healing with your own mother or you need to do some healing with your children if you have children. It says, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Okay, this has to do with mother and children, so however that resonates for you, whether you have kids or you don't have kids. Um, and then it says to make a decision, Capricorn, feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. And all I have to say is 
ready, set, go. Bam. All right, Capricorns, are we done? No, we're not. We have the the rest of the angels. I'm so sorry. Okay. The angel oracles here. All right, so you have... Oh, man, do you guys have shit. You had ear... What was it? Ear chakras that came out? Where the heck is that card? That's at the top. Okay. You have throat chakra, solar plexus chakra, too, and you have heal away addictions. But... Are you ready for what the addictions are? They're the blockages and limiting beliefs. They're behaviors and toxic patterns. All right, first of all, Capricorns, your throat, throat chakra. You deserve to be heard. Your, your truth needs to be spoke. You have a new, new mindset, new clarity. Fucking say it. Say it like it is now. Stand up for yourself. Speak your truth. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. <laughs> and you're in literally water energy. I told you, you will be kind, even though you have to set boundaries because... You're just, you, maybe you have water in your chart, Capricorn, and if you do, that's, that's amazing, because you won't be, like, a stubborn person, you will be a helpful one, um, that's amazing, okay, I'm gonna put that there, and then, okay, solar plexus, this is your stomach, it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways, when I see this card coming out, I think of your digestive, your food, what are you eating, your confidence, do you lack it? Okay, this is the lack that needs to be filled. This is the, un I want to unblock this so I can have the blessings. Um, this is unlocking the confidence. This is unlocking the key to success. This is believing in yourself in positive ways and that you are powerful. It's okay to finally feel infinite, free, powerful. You're not hurting anyone, Capricorn. They were all hurting you. It's okay for you to finally take your fucking power back and give them back their shitty one. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And your last card says, heal away addictions. Okay, now, it's not like what you're thinking, okay? And if it is, then you know to fucking help yourself out if that's what you're thinking, if you have a guilty conscience. Um, if not, this is about balance, emotions, life. And it says, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. See, it's all about balance and healing. It's like the temperance card twice. Only you are divinely guided by angels. These, This is my angel deck. This is like the angel guidance. I mean, you even have turtle spirit here, okay? Taurus energy. Again. Again. This is very beautiful, okay? So, again, heal away your addictions by letting go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desires. And talk to them angels. They exist. They exist, my loves. All right. I'm done, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> the long reading, okay? Long. All right, let me show you your cards one more time, and we are out of here. Out of here. I gotta go eat, guys. Overall energy. Believe in your fucking self. You are loved. Look at this. All I'm gonna say is I'm gonna take that mystery card and I was not going to until I saw... Trust the great mystery? Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Double clarification that I didn't even need to fucking tap into. And then believe in yourself, Capricorns. Holy shit. Be open to infinite possibilities, and I would not have read that if we didn't have these freaking portal water things showing up here. The number eight showing up here. Like, I said infinite possibilities in abundance how many times? Bring your ideas to life, Capricorn. Your creative ideas right here. Okay? Do it. Mm -hmm. You have a twin flame possibly coming in. You have surprises, abundance, your wish fulfillment, amazing shit coming in. And then remember, slow and steady wins the race. Receive, heal, make make better decisions, Capricorns. And if you need to go into solitude to do that, go into hermit mode and meditate and contemplate on it. But always speak your truth, Capricorn. No more holding back. Time for you to take your fucking power back. I send you all my love and light. And if you would like to see the other cards that I do have up here, we have Be at Home, Wombat Spirit, Spider Spirit, Make your dreams real. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Did I not just say that shit? And then slow and steady. Okay, time for a beginner's mindset because you're starting over. You've ended the 10 of swords. This is like ending trauma. Starting with step one, baby steps. You have a perfect fucking reading. And remember, Athena energy is wisdom, guidance. This is again, more Taurus energy, but Athena is like the goddess who... 
I think her mother was the goddess of wisdom, Athena. No, Athena had a daughter, okay? And Athena is the mother. So the mother of wisdom, the mother of literally thinking clearly and making the wisest, smartest decisions in life that are for her highest good. You're seeing people for their true colors. Masks are falling off and you're now going to be able to think clearly to make decisions. But I'm done, Capricorns. Peace and love. This was awesome.